Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And we don't look at consoles very often, but today we're sort of looking at a retro console slash PC. This is the A500 Mini, or as some of you old timers may know it as, the Commodore A500. So what we have right here is a little mini console that plays classic Amiga games. And yeah, there's a wide selection of games pre-installed in this thing. And we kind of got inspired to mess around with this thing after our Commodore 64 video. If you haven't seen that video, hit the eye in the top right corner to check it out. But we just want to see this rebranded version that you can buy on Amazon with Prime Shipping for a very good price and see if it's worth picking up. So let's just do that. But first, it will for today's sponsor. Looking for an affordable gaming head Headset. Well, today's video sponsor Corsair has you covered with their new HS55 stereo headset featuring great gaming audio along with a built-in omnidirectional microphone that is Discord certified and compatibility for PC, Mac, and the latest consoles. Oh, and it is one of the most comfortable headsets I have worn at this price point. It features all day comfort that I don't see a lot in budget headsets. Learn more about this headset by checking the link down below. And special thanks again to Corsair for sponsoring today's video. So as Matt said in our last Commodore video, we had some people actually suggest that we take a look at this. Like we said, we got on Amazon for I think $150 and it's supposed to come with like a joystick, a controller, obviously has like a keyboard on it. I'm not really sure if it's like a plug-in and it literally is just a console interface or if you actually get kind of like an OG computer interface. But basically this would have been a bigger, a much bigger version back when it came out. And I think the, I wanna say late 80s, maybe early 90s. And it was called the Amiga 500, I believe from Commodore. Um, and it was pretty short lived. I don't think it did super well, but I don't really know a whole lot about it. We'll definitely have to, you know, Google some of this to make sure that we're right about the facts, but it's a mini version of it and it's supposed to have better technology and it's cheap. So yeah, we'll just go and open it up and see what's inside. Cause this is a very small box and a lot's included in this box. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And we did actually buy some uh, some USBs for this. We bought like, uh, I think just some Lexar 32 gig flash drives because we're kind of excited that you can actually download other games in this, like emulators and stuff. <laughs> oh it is, my it, that, God. I was gonna say, it is literally that tiny. So cute, is the keyboard actually like, oh. I think it's just kind of a prop. That's lame, I thought it was gonna be like a legit keyboard. Okay, so it's definitely starting to give me more of the just console vibe. Like I think it's, man, unless you plug it in and it gives you more than that. But it claims that it comes with 25 of the Amiga games as shown in the background. It shows what games it comes with. It also says that it comes with a two button USB mouse, eight button USB gamepad, USB-C power supply cable, but the actual power supply is not included. We can plug it into our power brick over here. And then an HDMI cable, which we're gonna be plugging it into our nice uh, Acer Predator monitor over there, which is kind of extra. <laughs> Super necessary. Yeah, pretty overkill, but it gives you a quick start guide. It's just, uh, yeah, a couple pictures, which is always nice. It shows you how to plug everything in, and it also, it may show you how to actually get your USB thumb drive in there, because basically you can go to like certain websites, download more games, I don't know if we're gonna do that today because I don't know, the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, wow, 25 games is actually There are a, a lot, lot of games on here, yeah. Um, we just wanted to show you guys that you could do it, but I guess it's whatever, so. It feels like the controller is bigger than the console. Definitely feels heavy. And that looks classic. I feel like this is, this is probably a pretty good representation of what it would have originally looked like. I like all the beige too. That's really sweet. Here's our USB-C cable. They definitely wouldn't have had that back then. USB-C is modern pretty, technology. Yeah, pretty now. new technology. Um, <laughs> I usually go for the ports, so I guess I will. We got USB-C for power and HDMI and then three USB, I assume twos, and then I guess a power button. Nothing on the bottom. It I mean, is very just cool. like they took the design, you know, the aesthetic of it and they Put made a, a little, mi it. little mini console out of it. I'm excited about the mouse. You'll like this. This is like the start of mice pretty much. Look at that. I mean, yeah, that's like OG. And it's funny though, it's, it's a laser mouse. You know, this would have not been laser back no. then. It would have been, or optical, would have been a trackball. Uh oh, don't forget to do this gamers. Don't forget to take off the sticky. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited though. Um, I like how even the HDMI is beige. They definitely went all out with like the coloring, but. What's our beige monitor? Ow, I just punched myself. I don't know, that'd be, oh, we have that one. Yeah. It's not HDMI though. I think it uses, that'd be cool if we had the adapter, but I think it uses like composite. So I don't know if we had that, but mm, yeah, that thing's, that thing's pretty sweet. That's like a, what do you think, a 10 inch maybe? Yeah, a little zenith. Or eight inch, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get all this plugged in. Um, and we definitely want the camera to see the first time turn on, cause I have no clue what this is gonna look like. Hopefully it does work, just plugging it straight into our, our uh, like little surge protector here. Let's go ahead and let's, let's, cut, let's cut to that. Oh, power button came on, so that's good. I like how it is, I'm assuming that's kind of like a hard drive LED for USB, whenever you insert it, it probably flashes. Oh, we got, I think we already have display. Flash on the screen, so it might just work. What kind of interface? Uh, okay, so we can't, I love the sound. The mouse just for clicks. It might It might be just for certain games. Yeah, okay, let's see. No, nope, it has to, it says uh, A to select. Okay, B for next. 
60 Ooh. hertz, we need that. It looks like the mouse, I guess. Yeah, I guess it can't be used yet. It's either that or uh, because we have both plugged in, um, we got worms. I'm liking the console so far. I wonder if any of this, I'm assuming this doesn't have Wi-Fi. I never saw anything about it, so. No, I would assume it's all offline. California games. Oh, I think there's any that like, I really like recognize. I kind of recognize that one. Do these games mean anything to you all guys? This Comment one could be below. fun. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. I think that, that one's pretty popular, I thought. I'm like, I'll look at the graphics on that. Dude, where's Gauntlet? Ooh, Pinball. pinball. That's familiar. And then Worms, obviously. We definitely recognize Worms. I, I never knew Worms was this old, honestly. I knew it was older, but... The OG Worms. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to stunt one. That one seems fun. Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, practice? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, oh yes, sound. buddy. Why are you, like, flying? Oh, you're being, like, like lifted onto the track. <laughs> we're going, we're going. I'm down, I'm going. Oh, wow. This reminds me of the Super Mario Krat. <laughs> it does. You can't even like tell what's going on in the <laughs> distance. I can tell a turn's coming up, but I can't tell. How do I break? Oh my God, why am I going faster? Stop. Oh no. Ah! Oh jeez. Oh. You're burning out, bro. You're burning out. Oh, they're bringing me back in. Are all of these go? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like <laughs> everything I'm pressing is just... <laughs> All right, maybe. <laughs> this man doesn't know how to drive. Yeah, I think I might've found brake. Like it just throws you on the track. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the noises. Am I supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're playing some alien breed 3D. Do I play He's one player or play game? Some aliens. Oh. oh, oh boy. Oh, this kind of looks like, uh, what is it? Fate, uh, Doom? Doom? No, yeah. not Doom. Well, it is kind of like Doom. And Quake. Quake, there we go. Yeah, Doom and Quake. Can it's... you use the mouse now? No. Maybe it's broken. Did we get a broken mouse? How did, how did people used to tell like what they were looking at? I don't know. That's funny you can actually see it lagging. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh. sound like Star Wars. Hello? How does this door <laughs> open? You have to solve the puzzle. It's like making my head hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like how they did this. Like, I feel like they could have just taken up more screen with the game. Oh, that's an alien. That's a, that's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's an alien. Uh, did I jump up here? Oh wow, that was my puzzle. Oh, this is amp. Oh, is that ammo? I think. I still, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. How do people with bad eyesight play this game? <laughs> I guess they didn't. I guess this is why PC ga or gaming in general has gotten more popular. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. This is something. I mean, it, the lag it really makes it a, like not fun experience. Like my eyes are already hurting just playing <laughs> this. So yeah, let's, let's try worms. So what? we're in we're in worms. There's a grenade that was just this stay, game actually supports the corner. mouse, but Jackson Please. can't get into anything. Please stay in the corner. The McAllister's here now. So you want to tell everyone what you feel about worms? I hate worms. Dude, the game sucks. Actually, there are flash games that do it better. It's been it's been around longer than World of Warcraft. I think it came in the late 90s, right? This is Worms, the director's cut. This is 1997. I was born this year. Seven years later, World of Warcraft will come out. <laughs> so, so this is on that. Why level. do the worms look like that? Um, are you going or me? Like, what are you doing? I don't even know. Like, how do we even know who's? I don't know. He keeps moving the map around. It's... Oh, yeah, it's you. You gotta play some mine. <laughs> oh, oh. Kind of sounds like the cow here, honestly. It really does. <gasps> Why did he blow up over there? Okay, it's Matt's turn. Boogie. Was that you again? Are you down? <laughs> yeah, what do I, I do? I gotta charge it. Yeah, if, so you, you just, yeah, <laughs> didn't do whatever. Right, I'm gonna try to charge it proper. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean. That, that was better. <laughs> Wait, oh, a re whoa, we got instant replay. Come on, McAllister, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's an X worm. So yeah, that's worms. We should make McAllister play one of these games. Yeah, what do, you, like what do you want to play? You want to find a game? You got to play. 1993. You know what this is going to remind me of? Pico Park. I already feel it. Uh, <laughs> I feel that. The graphics are actually better. <laughs> better than the other ones. Okay, oh, all it's right. It's Mario. I like this so far. Mario. Can I kill things? I oh, so I want to keep my eggs. My eggs, like, the goal is can you get through that wasting Because you're, you're a quack. Because you're quacked, dude. <laughs> I've been told I've quacked at Fortnite. So Why is this game must still around? So if I don't grab those things, well, how do I get there to that thing? Do you think I had to jump on that dude? Or jump from there, maybe. Give this me. guy's got me. I turned into chicken. <laughs> or goose, I guess. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Dr. Bong's not helping Wait, me. Gosser, what was your experience? How much was this? It's like a hundred and... 
<laughs> hundred and something. Have you gone through the flea market and they're like trying to give you like a, a Super Nintendo controller and it has like all the games on it? Oh and they're yeah. Like top, they're five dollars. Yeah. That's what I feel this should be. But it has a keyboard. If it worked, it'd be worth a hundred because that'd be really ba. Like just for fun, like we should. Yeah. Let me see. We'll during the stream, <laughs> during the stream, we should make somebody use that. Yeah, it'd be fun. <laughs> it'd be fun. But now, uh, my thoughts are. But I would never buy one. So is there anything you want to play another one? I'll play another one. <laughs> <laughs> How could they f up pinball, he said. Oh wait, you just pull, look, I see it. Pull back and then release. Oh, okay. I really wish it just took up the whole screen though and not like whatever this is. Oh my God. You gotta follow Javal. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool, it's just making me dizzy. Let's go. You guys are never gonna beat my high score. That was pinball. That was pinball, now, Zach. I think I have another light, but I'm not gonna use it. It's Zach's turn to game. Zach, you to choose a game. Ooh, Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe. That means a Speedball 1 did all right. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> well, I don't know who's me. What? Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh, I just pitched it. Oh. I just got dunked. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he hit the gritty on me. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Downfield, into the shot. Where's the goal? I don't know. It's so hard to control <laughs> with just the D-pad. Not gonna lie, I feel like this is like the coolest game I just so own gold. Because <laughs> you can't tell like where your your homies are and you're controlling like the entire team. Yup. Oh, like oh my gorilla. God, quit tackling me. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh. go. Hit the gritty on him, hit the gritty on him. Oh my <laughs> God. How do I? <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose? 20 to 24? How'd they get 24? <laughs> Did you lose? <laughs> what? You sucker. They scored twice and I scored dude, twice. Dude, that guy looks so epic, what, dude. What is your opinion on this device? I really like the keyboard. It'd be so much cooler if it worked. So is there any more you want to play or are you done? I don't know. I'll back out one more time and see if there's anything else. All right, guys. Well, we just got done playing a lot of games and uh, I don't know. I had fun. It was fun like for, I'm, I'm not going to say nostalgia versus because we're not quite this old to where these games were like super relevant, but it's almost funny to play them. Just like, you know, running into walls and games and stuff like that. It definitely wasn't quite what we expected. I mean, I saw the keyboard. I thought it was going to be a little bigger. I thought the keyboard would work. I almost thought maybe it had like an operating system, but now I'm kind of realizing it's really just a you know classic console, basically. Yeah, there's a lot of these like retro consoles and some emulation stations that'll take like older games and emulate it. But this one went the extra mile and actually designed it around like the old Amiga setup. So really cool to see. And if you want to pick one up yourself, whether you want to take a trip down memory lane or introduce it to somebody in your life, links in the description down below will be affiliate links that will help us out. And uh, yeah, let us know if there's any other like emulation stations or anything like that or retro uh, consoles or anything like that you want to see us take a look here on the channel. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Peace out. Now, hey, we're living in a much different era. I mean, it's 2022 going to 2023. It's time that you guys get an actual gaming computer and we got just the place for you. PCBros.tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and more. And I have a feeling this thing will be sitting up there playing this sound yep. all day long. Listen. Yep. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's it's, it's nature. Uh, use code Toasty Bros 200 check out to save 2%. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.